Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we'll be continuing with our shell scripting course. And in this video, I wanted to cover file descriptors and some comparison operators like if then else. Uh, file descriptors, so we'll be covering basically three file descriptors, which is 0, 1 and 2, uh, standard in, standard out and standard error. And these are basically called uh, redirection file descriptors or redirection, redirection descriptors. And you would mostly use them for redirecting input output and error to basically different devices files and things like that so let's first see example of file descriptors and then we'll go into the compar comparison operators so yeah let's get started so like i told you there are three file descriptors which we'll be looking at 0 1 and 2 so 0 is standard in 1 is standard out and 2 is standard error so suppose if i do something like cat file does not exist so I'm getting this ugly error, but what if I don't want to get this ugly error, right? So suppose if you're running some commands in your shell script and your shell script throws out this ugly error. So you don't want your end user to see this, right? So what I can do is I can redirect all the errors to say a device called dev null, which is like a black hole device in Linux. So now if I do that, you can see I didn't get any ugly errors on the screen. So what I've done is basically redirected my sta all the errors or standard error to a null device right uh, when you i suppose i mean i have a couple of files over here file one and file two and file name one i don't know why it's there so let's get rid of it all right so let's get out this file file one so this has hello and file two has world all right so what exactly i mean when you do a cat right so cat file one so what actually I'm doing is basically, I mean, or the Linux basically behind the scene, what it's doing, it's, it's doing something like m percent one and file one. But this is, I mean, either you can do it this way or simply cat command takes care of all the uh, basically file descriptions, right? All right. So another thing is you can also par parse, I mean, pass a file as an input to cat, right? And then you can say, output that particular thing to another file. So let me show you what I mean. So what I can do is I want to basically take input from say etc pass wd file and I want to put that in a file name called file three. So let's run this and let's cat out file three if it has created and you can see so what I actually did, so I passed uh, this file etc pass wd as input to cat command and then I sent out all my standard output to a file called file 3. So that is why my file 3 has all the information which are there in my etc pass wd file. All right. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show you. So sometimes you would actually need uh, or you will be in a situation where you want to print something on the standard out, which is your say my terminal and you would also want to redirect it to a file, right? So in that case, what you can use is a command called T. So suppose I want say etc pass wd file. I want to cat this out as well as I want to send it to another file say file 4 in my current directory so let's run this so you can see this has actually printed out all the stuff and if we have done everything right we would have a file 4 over here and if we do a cat on file 4 you can see it has the same content as my etc pass wd file all right so this is all about file descriptors and this is the only use and the, I mean, the most file descriptor which you're going to use is either standard out or standard error. So because standard in is mostly coming from your keyboard. So you would and sometimes from a file, but that's very rare and you would actually not need that. But standard out and standard error is something you are going to use on a very regular basis in your shell script because your shell script might throw some error which you don't want your end users to see. And then you probably have to redirect those errors to say, uh, null device right or some or some other file where you want to sub, suppose you have a log file and you want to send all those uh, errors to a log file so you can basically use your file descriptors all right moving on 
so now we are going to talk about comparisons so comparison operator basically if then else so we de basically depending upon your if conditions you make some decisions and then you put them in your shell script right so i mean if then else or comparison operator in general have evolved a lot in linux i mean there are multiple ways to do it like i'll show you some say you can do like if say one greater than two right and then you can just simply press enter and you'll get this prompt and now you can start writing your script say then say suppose i say echo hello one else echo hello two and then I want to close this so five so you see I get this ugly ugly error which is basically related to some bash so what we can do is basically we can just redirect this ugly error to say dev null and now run this script again so since this condition is false because one is not greater than two so this is i mean i have put it in code but this is actually evaluating the exact numbers right another way if you don't want to put these in code is basically to do something like this sorry about that guys there's my someone sending me a text all right so this is another way you go ahead and do it and in that case you actually don't even need this and this will run without error so you can see uh, this is basically numerical comparison what we did earlier was also numerical comparison but that was an old way uh, in fact even this is also not uh, being done today so i'll talk about the latest uh, uh, trend which is there in bash currently and for that we are going to actually uh, no for that we are not going to write a bash script i will write a bash script uh, for the next topic which i want to cover which is basically uh, some file operations or file comparisons right so the new way is basically you give these two uh, square brackets and you define your condition within this square bracket right uh, there was an inbuilt command also called test which was used earlier i mean i also used to use earlier say somewhere around three four years back but i think this is also deprecated i mean it works but mostly people you won't see using this because i mean this is actually very convenient and there are a lot of operations which were not supported in test or single uh, square bracket so single square bracket was also there but there were a lot of operations like uh, i think multiple comparisons within the bracket were not supported and something like that that is why they were uh, i mean deprecated and now the new trend is actually to use double square brackets so that is what we are going to follow all right so now let's talk about some file uh, comparisons so by file comparisons i mean uh, or rather file operations uh, i mean so suppose you have a file so in a script if you want to check whether the file exists and whether it's a regular file right so let's do that so we are going to create a script say check file dot sh and let's quickly define our shebang bin bash and now what i'm going to do is uh, if double bracket hyphen e and i would say etc pass wd bracket closed then echo pass wd file exists else echo or echo file not found and phi so you don't forget to close your if with the phi all right so let's save this let's give it execution permission and now let's run this so you can see it says file exists because etc passwd file exists now if we modify this 
excuse me and say put something like file not found and save this and run this again you can see this is saying file not found all right so pretty simple right and we did a simple file check that file exists uh, we can also check within the square bracket itself whether this is a regular file So because I mean it can be a directory it can be a character file right things like that so we are checking whether it's a regular file or not as wd and it still says file access because etc pass wd is a regular file all right now we can also check for directory and let's do it inside this particular condition itself and to check for directory basically what you need to do is so an an operator basically it will evaluate all the conditions and if any condition fails it will fail the script right so for to check for a particular file to be a directory we do hyphen d and slash etc let's just check slash etc right and don't forget these spaces these i mean bash is very uh, sensitive to spaces Let's run this again and password file exists because that is a directory. But what if we do this instead of pass wd? What do you think it will run? Let's check. And you can say it failed because one condition failed, so file not found. Simple as that. Uh, now we'll create a script basically for uh, command line parameters. So suppose or suppose there's, I mean, there is some script that takes command line parameter and you don't provide command line parameters. So that script should technically fail, right? So that is what we are going to do. So we'll create a file test command dot sh. Let's quickly define the shebang dash and now what we are going to do is basically if so to test if i mean the user has provided a command line parameter or not the switch is basically hyphen z which checks whether the string is null or not so this is basically checking for the string to be null or not so if hyphen z dollar one so if dollar one is null and So in that case, what we are going to do is echo, please provide a parameter and exit. Else, what we are going to do is echo or else echo let's just say parameter meter provided and let's just echo the parameter dollar one and five all right so let's save this don't forget to give it execution permission test command and now let's run this without a parameter so without the parameter it failed telling me that I need to provide some parameter and let's provide it my name and parameter provided and the parameter is Tarek. All right, so this is working fine, right? So this is what you basically, I mean, this is the way you actually check for any particular variable, any particular input, whether it's null or not, or whether user has provided it or not. So yeah, so I think we covered everything. We covered file descriptors and we covered if the nels comparisons and we made decision based on those comparisons cool so yeah this is all for this video guys this is all i wanted to cover uh, please feel free to comment if you have any questions 
and also let me know if there's any specific thing which you wanted me to cover and i didn't uh, i'll be happy to cover that as well uh, all right so please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching